So you want to get into filmmaking. Maybe you have a great idea for a movie, or maybe you want to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you're like me and you want to take a freelancing career and do something bigger and start your own production company. Whatever your reason is, there are a few things you need to know before you uh, make the jump into uh, buying all this gear and like getting really involved in the art of filmmaking. Now, to be perfectly clear, I've only been on this journey uh, seriously myself for the past few years here. Uh, so take what I say with a grain of salt. But if you do want to stick around and listen to a, a young college kid talk about his experiences, I mean, I've been doing video for over the past decade now. I think I have some value here to help you who are just starting on this journey uh, start right and take some good first steps. Starting off with everybody's favorite thing to talk about, of course, that is gear. Now you'll see um, everywhere online that people say that the best piece of gear for you the best camera for you is the camera you already have and for most of you uh, that's going to be your iphone and while undoubtedly this is true i mean cameras and smartphones have gotten so good so quickly um, especially in the past few years that the actual image quality they can shoot 4k 60 the image quality you're going to get out of a phone is not that much different than what you'll get out of a dslr or a mirrorless camera of course there are um, differences between them but if you wanted to pick up your phone right now and start shooting, you absolutely could. Through my own experience and my own psychology, I've learned that actually investing some of your money into a dedicated video camera um, can do wonders for helping you, uh, helping spark your creativity. And I know it sounds a little bit weird here. Putting money towards something um, that you're going to use in this craft, whether it be a camera, lights, whatever, instead of using what you kind of already have laying around, Although it's maybe not as economical, I really do believe that it'll serve as fuel for you to get your money's worth of that product. It'll really be kind of a backbone for you to create with. Um, it's a lot different shooting with a, let's see, with a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, a 6K. It's a lot different feeling shooting with that than it is shooting with your phone. And maybe, maybe the image quality isn't that different. A lot of this is really just achieved through lighting. You can get something that looks as good as this through just simple $50 DIY lighting. I'll do a video on that in the future. The camera isn't really what matters, but the investment that you're making towards it and what it has to do with your psychology, it does matter. Filming something on a dedicated video camera will be m much better for you to create on than your iPhone. With an iPhone, you um, have the endless world of distractions of social media, with text messages, with any of that stuff coming in. And really, I think it's just a huge distraction from what you're actually trying to get out of filmmaking. And I really think investing, even if it's like $200 for your your aunt's old DSLR that she did photography on, a, on the side with, um, as long as you're making some sort of conscious financial investment into uh, some gear, I think that will do wonders to uh, get you started here. Now, this video could be a whole lot longer if I went into specifics on uh, what cameras to buy for beginners, intermediates, and beyond that. And I don't want to get into that now on this video. What I would recommend is starting small and starting cheap, looking on eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and getting something with interchangeable lenses because then you can start to invest in higher quality glass if you choose to do so, and that will last you a lifetime. If you start small and cheap, you're not putting your eggs all into one basket, and you can eventually uh, sell off that gear and upgrade it along the line um, if this has become something that you really, really wanna uh, pour your heart into. The main point here is to not get caught up on the gear. It's important, and it's important to make an investment that will uh, push you to get your money's worth and to actually go out and create but don't go overboard when you're first starting. One, two, three hundred dollars, probably the price range you want to look in when you're first starting out. So you have this gear now, maybe it's a camera, a camera and a microphone, um, lights, it could be any of these things, it doesn't matter. Really none of it matters if you don't have a purpose, if you don't have a why. Now I do realize this is sounding a little bit wishy-washy and existential, um, but truly, if you don't have a why, what you're doing really doesn't matter. A lot of people want to become a YouTuber, filmmaker, content creator, any of these things uh, for kind of the wrong reasons. Usually it's just because it sounds and looks cool. And I know this because I was there exactly. Um, back when I was a little kid, I used to start channels about Clash of Clans or I did videos even on this channel about Halo 5 and Destiny. And well, those are great and I still think there's some educational content in there for people to uh, learn from. The purpose 
behind me creating those videos was not that. It was to get views and kind of validate myself uh, for being so crazy into these weird things. Now, I'm still young and don't get me wrong, I'm able to look back on my past self when I was younger than 10 and close up to my, uh, my later teens here and realize those mistakes I was making and that my heart was in the wrong place. And now that I've gotten older and matured a little bit, um, I can look back on those things and realize that that is not the way to uh, start and get into this field. And I'm sure as I mature more, I'll be able to look back at myself now and be like, what were you thinking? But uh, we'll see when we get there. I've realized it's extraordinarily important to start thinking about your why before you ever start putting money into gear or camera. Why do I do this, you know? And this is the first video I've posted legitimately uh, on my channel in years now. And that was after taking such a long break because I realized my heart was in the wrong place in creating videos. As I've grown as a freelancer, picking up some more jobs and clients, um, I'm often reminded of one of the very first gigs I did. And that was uh, making a football documentary for our high school football team. And at the time I was a sophomore in high school and I just remember these huge massive seniors towering over me. And here I was this little sophomore kid just running around with the camera, um, trying to capture everything they did. And I remember going for months and filming all the games and sitting at this computer for hours and hours and hours um, after games. And eventually when the final edit came together, it was like a half hour long video. I just poured so much time into it. And in that process, I thought this isn't worth it. Like, why am I spending so much time on this one video, you know? Um, and it wasn't until that video was f uh, finished and I delivered it to our coach and uh, he started distributing it out to the football players. And I'll never forget um, one of the seniors that approached me after he had watched the video, starting to tear up. And he said, man, that was incredible. You know, thank you. I'm gonna keep this with me for the rest of my life and I'll be able to show my kids this uh, one day. And I think that is probably the moment where I knew what my why was. Here I was, this uh, little sophomore kid making a, a grown senior guy cry. And the, the recognition there is different. And my, my why had shifted from getting X number of views, getting a validation by my friends, to creating a thing that can positively impact somebody's life, that can evoke emotion. And so these reasons are deeper than, oh, I just wanna get this X number of views. And so now my why has shifted over the years from that to now it's like increasing profits for businesses or it's about trying to remember uh, these times when i'm young with my friends and we can look back on our videos one day and uh, reminisce on the good old days so conglomeration of different things and it's different for everybody so i encourage you to think about it and um, try to figure out what your why might be it'll develop over time and you may not know what it is now but it's important to think about and um, it probably will set you on the on a better path if you think about it early on. So you have this gear, which is a very physical, uh, tangible thing, and then you have a why or a purpose, which is a very non-tangible, existential, wishy-washy thing. On their own, those two things are great, but it's hard to combine them together without the third thing here, and that is practical knowledge. You can't do anything with this gear and with this passion if you don't know how to put it together. Consume a lot of content. Watch a lot of YouTube videos, watch tutorials on how to do things that you want to know how to do. In the beginning here, it'll be very difficult to know uh, what you don't know. So it's really just about looking up any kind of tutorials on things that you may want to know about filmmaking. Uh, this channel particularly will begin to slowly populate uh, with some guides and tutorials on filmmaking um, techniques, editing techniques, and then we can, of course, we can talk about gear as well. These things are things that you'll slowly develop over time, but you gotta know how to turn the camera on, how to get proper focus um, when you're making a video. The important thing here is though, to not get caught up in knowing everything before you start. And that brings me into the final point, is to just go out and create. And I'm sure you've heard this thousands of times before, you probably looked up, uh, how do I get started filmmaking? And you've seen people say, just go out and create. And that's great. And it's what you should do. But it's so hard in the beginning to even know what you want to create. It truly is just about creating anything. Literally anything. 
film a video of you walking your dog. You set up a, set your camera on the sidewalk and just walk past and film a little b-roll segment. You can film yourself washing the dishes. You can invite a friend over to model for you or film a dumb little music video. I know I've done that with my friends many times and, and they've seen them all, of course. You start to narrow down what you like to create and how you do that and you start to learn what you want to learn once you just start making things. The important part is just you, that you make something. People often, myself included, get caught up in trying to make what they create perfect right off the get-go and I've learned over the years that it's really it's much more important just to get something out there and then you just continue the cycle that's part of the cycle of being a creator you create something you put it out there you share it with the world and then you get feedback both from yourself watching it from the world and you can learn from there but you can't learn from there if you don't put something out there do not get trapped into paralysis by analysis because your path as a filmmaker becomes instantly more clear as soon as you start to make something it's hard to understand until you do it, but once you have some amount of gear, some sort of a why in your life, and some sort of technical know-how, once you have all three of those things in any capacity, really you're unstoppable into what you can achieve in this field. So just go out there and just do it. Now I hope this helps some of you along on your path of becoming a filmmaker here. Um, on a very macro scale, all this can be very overwhelming, at least I know it was for me uh, when I started. But again, like I said, when you just get out there and you start to make something, um, it's your scope that you're viewing uh, this field with starts to really narrow down into a much more micro scale. And you'll understand what your needs are, what gear you need to buy, you'll understand what you want to do and what you want to create. But the first thing you have to do is just get out there and create something. If you have any questions or just want to chat, uh, feel free to comment down below or reach out to me on my Instagram. It's at jack.linderman or at uh, paragon.productions for my production company. But really, I appreciate you taking the precious time out of your day to sit down and chat with me here for a few minutes. If you've made it this far, thank you. I love you. Bye. Thank you.